Hi friends, Clayton Phillips here again from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. It is a beautiful day here in October. Uh, we've got no snow on the ground, the sun is shining, we've got like double digit temperatures and I'm excited to be able to shoot the all new interior exterior of the Grand Design Reflection 303 RLS. This is the very first floor plan that Grand Design developed uh, when the reflection was developed uh, many years ago and every year it just holds true uh, it's an unbelievable layout what I absolutely love about this floor plan folks is that it gives you a big fifth wheel interior floor plan but in a much shorter package this particular tr uh, fifth wheel trailer measures out at 32 feet 5 inches in length so if you want something that's a little more nimble you can park it in the provincial campgrounds the tighter camping spaces and parking spots um, if you want to uh, be train a boat or flat deck quad you know flat deck with a trailer with a quad on it uh, those sorts of things this particular fifth wheel may be able to get it done for you uh, and again folks this floor plan is absolutely fantastic grand design has done an unbelievable uh, update on the exterior as you can see as I'm walking around the uh, the front end of this particular trailer and the interior and I'll point out a few things especially on the inside that grand design really held true to the quality uh, of their product in the in the update and uh, hope you like it so we're going to jump into it i'm going to throw a bunch of detail at you uh, we got it all set up here with the dual awnings uh, you've got do two awnings on this particular trailer one awning the front awning is 13 feet in length and then the awning on the exterior of the slide out there is 10 foot six so depending on where you're camping if you have a tree in the way you've got unbelievable shade coverage those awnings are the solera awnings so very easy to adjust if you want to put a tilt to the roller tube to allow for the moisture to run off of course it's a little breezy here so you're seeing how that awnings performing at the moment with a little breeze going on and uh, all those sorts of things but we're gonna jump here on the front grand design fully painted front cap uh, with the reflection graphics that is a 3m graphic higher UV coating protection on it to give you that five-year warranty which is great but that front cap is fully painted the great thing about a painted front cap versus a gel coat front cap is it greatly reduces the chances of that fading and discoloration that you may have seen as you're doing your RV shopping. So again, fully painted front cap. Uh, what's really neat, this is a structure cap. So this front cap adds a lot of rigidity to the front end. The structure cap goes on square, which is nice. There's not a lot of flex or movement to the front cap. You wanna have a squarely built trailer. And that's one of the things you get with Grand Design is the towability is absolutely fantastic. And that's what you get with a squarely built trailer. You'd be shocked, folks, how many trailers in the industry are not built square. So uh, we can talk a little bit more about that. But the, the lamination that Grand Design does, they have a three-year structural warranty. They're the first manufacturer to offer that. That means every vertical wall is fully laminated, built in a thermostatically controlled, humidity-regulated environment, folks. A lot of manufacturers may laminate their main wall, but they won't laminate their rear wall or their slide-end walls. Grand Design also, the roof of the slide-out, it's a fully laminated roof uh, of the slide-out, fully insulated. You can stand on their slide boxes, folks. What's nice about that is you can uh, sweep off the top of the slide-out uh, before you bring that slide-out in, uh, which is nice. And we're going to jump up on the roof and show you some of those things um, something that we're doing a little differently here on our videos but one of the things I really like about the 303 folks is the the access to the pass-through storage compartment at 32 and a half feet in length folks this particular trailer has a very large opening to be able to get some of your larger camping gear in um, of course this is a straight rail chassis unlike the solitude but again all vinyl decking this is where you get with Grand Design vinyl decking there's no carpeted material to hide in all the gaps and and uh, imperfections in the flooring that you find with other uh, products out there, folks. When you do vinyl, uh, you got to be precise, and that's what Grand Design offers with their products is precision and how they engineer it and how they build it. But you'll see the way that they strap up the ducting for your upper deck. That's a, this is a fully heated compartment too. That's called a heat plenum right there. There's no you know uh, plastic straps holding it up. Uh, there's a heat duct right there, which you can see fully bead welded together, very, very strong. You count the amount of aluminum tubes that Grand Design uses, the cross members, typically more than the average manufacturer because they wanna have a solidly built trailer, which is absolutely uh, fantastic. 
also auto level. This is a four point auto level. It's the electric, the Lippert 3.0 system, has the auto return feature. So it memorizes where you last unhooked from on your truck, making unhooking and hooking so much easier which is good. Grand Design First Class Nautilus P1 Utility Center. They use this utility panel in all of their RVs, folks, uh, which is nice. It's all color-coded, very easy to use. And um, you got your outside shower connection there as well. You've got your water pump switch, which I absolutely love if you're draining your tanks uh, at the provincial campground and you want to be able to you know, turn on your water pump to clean up. You're not having to go inside your trailer to do it. Uh, you've got the, the switch, this little red switch here will activate blue lights underneath your slide out. So for at night, you've got little blue lights right here underneath your slide out. Just helps illuminate the off door side of your trailer. You're walking around, it's not, you know, super annoying for your neighbor with a big floodlight shining in their bedroom window. So uh, Grand Designs go on the extra step. Of course, black tank flush, gate valves for this trailer are all up inside the nice, you know, heated and enclosed underbelly which I'm gonna show you the underbelly here in a second, folks. So here you go, fully enclosed, uh, heated underbelly, the Coroplast material that they use to enclose the underbelly on all Grand Design products now, folks. The Astrofoil insulation that they add, which gives you, that helps boost up your R values to that R30, is actually that Astrofoil is bonded to the backside of this Coroplast, so it makes servicing uh, your underbelly so much nicer with the product. You got some low point drains there which is nice. Some of the thing that, uh, something that Grand Designs added is the, uh, the light. So if you're having to drain your tanks at night, um, you know, you can turn that light on and off. Works really, really good. Switch right here. So really, really nice with this particular trailer. They're going the extra step, the extra mile. Uh, of course, fully uh, your under uh, bottom side of your slide out here, folks. Grand Design doesn't use Darko on the bottoms of their slide outs, which will wear out. Um, it's a bonded floor, which is really, really nice. They put this cap edge where there's, you know, that slide moves in and out. It's not going to wear out the edge of your floor. If you've got Darko, it'll expose your, your floor to potential moisture intrusion and all those sorts of things. So I know I'm throwing a lot at you here, but this is a rack and pinion slide out as well. Both main floor slides are rack and pinion. So if you do happen to, um, you know, run out of battery power or something happens to the motor of your slide out, you can literally put a crank handle on the end of a drive nut and manually cranking your slide makes it really really easy so 35,000 BTU furnace with this particular trailer it's the same size furnace you get with a 43 foot solitude and some of the momentums and larger fifth wheels out there your hot water heater is the Atwood hot water heater it's a 17.8 gallon quick recovery tank with both gas and electric on that means it's a six gallon tank but with again with that gas electric on it's recovers so much quicker so the missus can hop in have a quick five minute shower then hubby can hop in have a quick five minute shower and still have enough hot water uh, you're not going to run out which is really nice speaking of tank capacities with this particular product folks 60 gallon fresh water capacity 87 gallons worth of gray like gigantic so if you're into going to the uh, big valley jamboree and you're in the middle of the field you can pack a lot of gray water with you uh, as well as your black tank they've boosted it to 47 gallons so that's one thing you get with grand design folks is oversized oversized in build oversized in feature uh, content oversized in capacities they're really going the extra step which is really really nice okay sealant on a trailer super super important we're going to talk a little bit of it, of it when we go up on the roof but grand design does not use butyl putty anywhere on their products okay and butyl putty is a sealant in the industry that's been used for decades the issue with butyl putty is it dries out and it cracks uh, and can very quickly create an, a weak spot on your trailer to allow for moisture intrusion where delamination can happen and all of those things. So what Grand Design does is they've eliminated the butyl putty and how you can tell butyl putty is typically this corner molding would stick out a little bit farther and sometimes you'll see the sealant oozing out from around window openings uh, and those sorts of things and it gets worse the longer you own the trailer and the trailer flexes and stresses going down the highway. Uh, that, that butyl putty will ooze out. Uh, Grand Design, they use a product called Mylar Tape Seal. That's behind what's behind this um, uh, piece of aluminum, uh, extruded aluminum here. So basically before this piece goes on, they wrap the Mylar from this side wall around to this side wall so it seals in the edge. Then what they do is they put this corner cap on and it's held in with steel screws. 
can't get my finger in there to pull it out, but behind this uh, plastic cap here, there's uh, some steel screws. Grand Design stuffs that aluminum tube. Part of the lamination in Grand Design going the extra mile is they stuff that aluminum tube with a wood dowel because you need that for that steel screw. You'd be shocked, folks, how many manufacturers do not stuff their aluminum tubing with wood dowels. And that's why over time, trailers start to squeak, they start to rattle. You can get moisture intrusion, all of those things. So those steel screws go on, then they put a silicone cap seal over top. The beautiful thing about the Mylar tape seal is that if this silicone cap seal was to give way, if moisture got in behind here, it's not gonna permeate into the wall because that Mylar tape seal does not have a shelf life like Butyl. Butyl Putty has like a six month shelf life. Um, it wraps from the sidewall to sidewall, so it seals in that edge, so it's not gonna permeate into that wall. Greatly reduces the chances of that happening. If moisture does get in here, it basically runs out the bottom, uh, which is really nice. Rear laminated wall, you check out the other products in the industry, folks. If you push on this rear wall, a lot of manufacturers, even products that are more expensive than this that you find at other dealers, I'm not gonna name names, but they you know carry a higher perceived value or, or level of trailer, and they're not built nearly as well as this reflection is, is at, a, at a much lower price point. Um, buyer beware, check out your products. Other thing, what's new, 3,000 pound hitch, flat four wiring. They did that with the old body style, but started doing it on the uh, on the 2020s. Um, with this, folks, you can actually pull a you know little flat deck with a quad on it, a fishing boat, those sorts of things, okay? Again, coming down the entry side of the trailer, what's one thing that's nice about this particular model, folks, again, the length at 32.5, the big, big windows on the entry side of your trailer, so you're looking into your camp space, which is really nice. Okay, running gear, they use the Dexter running gear on this. This particular model in the full-blown reflection has the 16-inch tires as well, so it's a bigger tire, higher profile, more clearance. Um, again, five-year warranty on those axles, never lube, uh, or sorry, never adjust brakes, easy lube hubs. You can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your driveway, but look how clean the underside of their slide outs are, folks. Grand Design shines on their slide outs. They're doing all the right things. Triple entry step, lend a hand, grab handle. This has the Arctic insulation package. We optioned in the thermal pane windows, folks. It's a dual pane window. Benefit to a dual pane window is it's quieter, um, you know, less noise transferring inside the trailer. You don't have to, you know, greatly reduces the chances of the frost building up. Propane heat, especially up here in our in our neck of the woods, where it gets a little cooler at night and people, you know, get the frost on the windshields, or sorry, the windows. Uh, a, a dual pane window greatly reduces the chances of that frosting. There's not a huge R value advantage, but it's a thicker, stronger uh, a window and a lot of people, you know, see the benefits up here in Canada with them. Again, wider entrance doors, taller entrance doors with the grand design, thicker baggage doors. You know, we'll show you that. Thicker baggage doors. It's got the magnet that holds it up. It's a metal latch versus a plastic latch that you find with some of the competitive product out there. So again, not holding back. They got the new doggy uh, attachment. So if you got a puppy that needs to be tethered, you got that spot there for little Fido. Battery disconnect switch. So beautiful, beautiful product. Uh, we're gonna jump to the back here and I'm gonna crawl up the ladder and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. I'm gonna show you how we walk on tops of these slide outs. So stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. Clayton here at Woody's RV in Leduc, Alberta, Canada on the roof of a 303 Grand Design Reflection. And there are a lot of things going on here. Grand Design folks does full walk on roofs. They want you to be able to access the roof of your trailer to you know, do some roof sealant touch-ups if necessary. They want you to be able to sweep off the tops of your slide outs. It's a 16 inch on center, wood truss roof, folks. Why you want tr uh, wood truss versus an aluminum truss or a steel truss, folks, is it has higher tensile strength. In Canada, it will take a snow load, especially a melting snow load, gets very, very heavy, folks. If you're looking at an aluminum truss roof, folks, they cannot stuff that arched aluminum tube with a wood dowel, okay? The issue is, is that they use steel screws to hold the wood decking down, okay? And again, if you're not supporting those steel screws, 
uh, with uh, you know going into an aluminum tube with a wood dowel over time especially on a roof that's where moisture intrusion can occur okay so wood truss roof it also it has a higher insulative qualities uh, they're just going the extra step it's a double insulated roof as well so you have r40 uh, on your roof and down your front cap so that's a combination between uh, bat insulation as well as a astrofoil insulation okay now we talk about the roof membrane this is a tpo roof membrane okay it's built by alpha it's uh, super flexible. There are different grades of TPO roofing that manufacturers use, and this particular product is flexible. And why the Grand Design goes with a higher grade TPO is for the transition of the, especially on a fifth wheel where it transitions from, let's say where it, the, the roof raises up to the top, where it, there's kind of a, I wouldn't say a seam here, but this is where it transitions that they want it to be able to be flexible. Okay, especially where it drops off, especially on the mid profiles here. So they want to have that roof membrane sit flat, okay, and be flexible. Plus where it radiuses around from the roof to the sidewall here on the edge. You want to have that flexible. Um, Anti-marring, it's going to take a tree branch a whole lot better, uh, which, you know, makes it a whole lot nicer. The other thing Grand Design does, folks, is they do attic vents, okay? So in this particular model, you've got two attic vents. you got one here towards the back, and you got one up front, okay? The Grand Design, part of the reason also why they build the roofs that they do, it's a stronger roof, but they want the roof to be able to breathe, okay? If you don't have a roof that breathes, that's where moisture can build up inside and cause potential problems. Okay, a lot of the laminated roofs in the industry, folks, they can delaminate, which, you know, over time you use, lose that structure in your roof. Grand Design, you don't have to worry about that. They want that moisture out. They want the trailer to breathe. Uh, it's going to help keep the inside cooler, uh, you know, in the summertime, uh, in the, when the sun's beating down on it and, and warmer in the, in the wintertime as well. But I'm going to jump down onto this slide box here. Again, new, uh, new TV antenna. It's not the T, uh, T where they fold it up. It was like a big T on the roof roof that gobble you know tree branches gobble up it's in an enclosed uh, uh, cap I guess if you want to call it that so uh, a little more you know impervious to you know tree branches and those sorts of things which is good but I'm just gonna hop down here on this roof of your slide out so with the laminate and I'm like I'm bouncing here folks this is solid okay fully laminated just like your sidewall very very strong this is what you get with grand design folks if they go the extra mile, there are a lot of products in the industry, I can't stress it enough. We have carried so many different brands, folks, and I can't tell you how many times Grand Design, with the way that they build their products, these trailers stand the test of time. You are investing in a far superior product, okay? You got more roof vents, bigger skylights, this one here, if we were to open it up, you'd see it's a big fantastic fan with a rain sensor on it. You can add the covers if you like, you can do all those things okay all right coleman mock air conditioners that's what grand design uses on all their products it's a quieter compressor it's more efficient they use that through all of their brands okay we're going to jump down and uh, head her inside just one moment all right before we jump inside i want to just point out a couple other things see the steel steel screws here okay there's not an aluminum tube right here for that uh, steel screw to go into stuff with an aluminum uh, sorry a wood dowel they do that on the corner here they laminate in a sheet of steel in the sidewall so that steel screw goes into a sheet of steel so this ladder stays solid like this ladder does not budge if you're a 250 pound man and you want to climb up and down that ladder this thing will stay solid solid the other thing that all framed in window openings every rv that grand design builds has framed in window openings okay very very important that window is a clamp ring window it bites down a lot of manufacturers to save weight and cost they will not frame in their window openings the issue is over time especially if they use a butyl putty that's a good spot for moisture intrusion to occur okay grand designs doing the extra things to to mitigate that risk that you know you're making a massive investment in your rv and they want to make sure it stands the test uh test of time all right inside we go beautiful thing about this layout folks right from their inception they surveyed rv owners and what do rv owners want access to the fridge when the slide outs are fully retracted and that's what you get with the 303 rls uh, this particular trailer has a 12 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator and you can access that refrigerator 
right as soon as you walk in the entrance door with the slide outs closed, which is absolutely fantastic. The other thing you can do, folks, is you can access your bathroom, which is pretty common with a, an, an, a you know, side access up to the bedroom bathroom on this side. But as you walk in, if it was nighttime out, you have motion sensor lighting. So you got that motion sensor light up there. Okay, if you have it set to motion sense, which is the two lines right here, this is the motion sensor button. If you walk in at night, okay, that light will automatically turn on if you set, you know, hit the motion sense. You're not having to fumble for switches, okay? If you accidentally forget to turn the light on to motion sense, Grand Design also on their convenience center, which is located right at their entryway, okay? So I'm gonna point out a couple things here, but we're gonna start with this. Ceiling light, it's illuminated, it stays illuminated. LED light is not going to burn really a lot of power, okay? What's nice about that is if you don't have the motion sensor light on, you'll still be able to find the switch. New for the new body style 2020, 12 volt thermostatically controlled heat blankets. So you have two ways of heating your tanks with this trailer, folks, okay? You've got the heat blankets. Each tank has its own, own heat blanket as well as furnace heat that's ducted. Each tank gets its own dedicated heat duct okay which is absolutely fantastic and they've temperature tested the uh, reflection to uh, minus four degrees fahrenheit which is you know between minus uh, 18 to 20 celsius okay again slide switches all individual slide switches because they're electric you got the awning lights the step light the porch lights your gas electric hot water heater switches are here your tank monitors are all here very easy to access the other thing grand design does your converter, okay? Your converter has uh, fuses in it and a breaker. They put it right across from your entry door, okay? That way, if your slide outs are attracted and you blow a fuse, you're not having to manually open up slide outs to access your converter because some manufacturers put them in the weirdest places. Grand Design giving you easy access to get to these things when the slide outs are fully retracted. So wanted to point that out. New update for 2020 new body style folks. Also, they've gone to a shaker style cabinet uh, cabinetry. Okay, it's a flat panel door. Okay, now one of the issues with flat panel doors in the industry is that it's a cheaper door. It's a thinner panel. It makes a snappier close. Like it, it, it doesn't feel as rugged um, or as, as well made. Okay. Grand Design is known for their cabinetry. They built, put in thicker doors, solid wood, uh, lumber core cabinetry, fully screwed together in every single trailer that they build, okay? Um, one of the things that they wanted to not get away from was the quality door. So the way that they achieve that to give you the modern, you know, contemporary look that a lot of people want nowadays, which they've done a beautiful job, is they flipped the raised panel around. So this is actually raised out this way. So historically, a lot of manufacturers, oh, we can save money with a flat panel door. Yes, you can, but it's a cheaper door. Grand Design didn't want to lose the quality, so they reversed it on the backside, giving you that nice, modern, up-to-date look, but still giving you that nice, solid, closing cabinet door. Okay, it's gonna stand the test of time. The other thing, it's a mortise and tenon door. I don't know if you can see that finger joint right there, okay? It's not a picture frame cut, very, very solid. This is what you see in a lot of residential, uh, better than a lot of residential builds nowadays, okay? The other thing, the tile look backsplash here on your hutch, they've gone to a lighter cabinetry, or ca or sorry, ca countertop as well. So they've kind of done a really good job with the contrast of the trailer, I think. Um, you know, it's not super bright on the inside, but it's not dark. I think they've done a really nice job. A little bit lighter uh, uh, flooring, lighter wall boards, lighter upholstery inside. This is called, this is the pebble interior, which is nice. Your theater seating does still have the heat and massage in it. Uh, MCD roller shades, that's all these ones here. They pull down, okay, I'll give you the full blackout. The freestanding dinette is a new concept as well. So it's got a bunch of, a, a few different things going on with it. Uh, you get a little drawer here on the end, which is kind of cool to put your placemats and cards and those sorts of things. But they give you this bench seat, okay? Um, what I like about the bench seat, couple things. One is it's got storage underneath of it, okay? So you can put pots and pans or extra blankets or whatever there. This back cushion is fully removable, okay? So if it's just 
husband and wife heading out and you don't need the extra seating around the table, you can remove this. You can use the ottoman in front of your couch as extra like a tabletop or a coffee table or what have you. And you can pull your other chair around to the other side of the dinette, giving you more space and more flexibility. Okay. You still get the uh, storage underneath. You got the straps there tucked away. So I absolutely love their dinette. It was a really neat concept. They went out on a limb. They wanted to make it look like a piece of furniture. And I think they've done a great job and they've accomplished that. I don't know what you guys think, but comment. Let us know what you think. Uh, tons of flexibility again here. Again, grand design folks, no heat ducts in their floor. They surveyed RV owners when they started their company. One of the major things, fridge access with slides closed. The other thing, no heat ducts on the floor. Okay, so it's a one piece floor. It's a much stronger floor. There are no seams in this floor, folks. It is a one piece of wood that runs side to side and front to back, okay? so greatly reducing the chances of squeaks and uh, noise developing over time. When you have a heat duct in your floor, okay, a lot of times you'll see a heat duct here, one in front of the couch here, um, they have to cut a groove in the floor, which weakens the floor over time. You can start to develop soft spots, okay? Um, Grand Design ports their heat ducts through the base of their island and that heat blows across the floor. The nice thing is if, you have to, if you're camping in colder weather and you wanna run your furnace as you're going down the highway, which you can, your slide outs are not covering your heat ducts. The other thing folks, when you do a heat duct on your floor right in front of your couch here, think of your guests. This is a bed. When you have this into the bed position and your furnace is running, guess where that heat is blowing? It's blowing right up underneath where your guests are sleeping and you know, it makes it so much hotter for people to sleep in, way more uncomfortable, uh, all of those things. So by, by eliminating the heat ducts in the floor, there are so many benefits to the structure, the structural integrity of the trailer, the comfort of your guests, uh, all those sorts of things. So again, standalone oven and range. Uh, they've done that for the last couple of years. Motion sensor light in your pantry. I don't know if it's activated. No, nope, it's not activated, but great big pantry. We've had people buy this floor plan because of this pantry alone. In the full blown reflection, folks, you do get the new style wider angle fireplace. That's a 5,000 BTU heater as well, uh, which is real nice. New, uh, new candle style lighting with the uh, feature above your island. Done a really nice job there. Again, rain sensor fan in your kitchen comes standard in all Grand Design uh, fifth wheels. And then there's a remote on the wall for that. And then you get the uh, pull down faucet, single basin sink. This is a little bigger than what you get in an Imagine. So great big sink. Again, if you want to limit the amount of water used, just put a Rubbermaid container in there. The nice thing is you can hide the, uh, hide the dirty dishes if you don't want to jump on them right away. And it'll actually hold a great big dinner plate or a frying pan uh, within that sink, which is cool. Again, I know I'm missing a bunch of stuff here. I could talk for hours, folks, on this. So, uh, and again, I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't shot in a video in a while, so I hope I'm doing, doing you good. Um, tread light steps, no carpet on the steps. Most manufacturers are doing that now. If they're not, they're way behind the times. You got a, a handle here to help you get up the steps. Uh, in your bathroom here, folks, this is how they get the length down. So you get a north-south bed up in the bedroom, but uh, real nice shower. Okay, porcelain foot flush toilet. Lots of counter space in here. Again, motion sensor lighting in your bathroom. So if you're getting out of bed in the middle of the night to use the bathroom, uh, you have it set to motion sense, that light will automatically turn on and it will turn off. If you have grandchildren and they're little, you have it set to motion sense. They can get out of bed in the middle of the night, use the toilet. They're not having to worry about kids always forget to turn the lights off. At least they do in my house. I don't know about yours, uh, but they do at mine and uh, that motion sensor light, it should put them in the house. Uh, that light would turn off. So cheater door coming into the, uh, to the bedroom here. Again, with Grand Design, they wanna give you a really nice residential feel in the bedroom here, folks. Uh, you have 110 plugins on either side of your bed. So if you sleep with a CPAP machine, they give you uh, plugins on either side. USB connection here up at the top, right there. So dual, so you can, you know, husband and wife can each plug in a cell phone. You got the shelf to be able to set it up there, up out of the way. Uh, what's nice about this bedroom is you're not sleeping in a tunnel. 
a lot of uh, a lot of fifth wheels in the industry they run the cabinets all the way down on either side of the bed and literally you got a cabinet like two inches from your nose I, I don't know about you but for me I like to sleep with my arm hanging off the side of the bed like to breathe crawling in and out of bed with this bedroom they're trying to give you as much of a residential feel as possible and I think they've achieved that really nicely again 60 wide by 80 inches long this is a residential size bed your fitted sheets go around it that you buy it uh, bed bath and beyond or wherever Costco wherever you get your bedding from folks if you want to put a mattress topper on here again mattress toppers are designed and built for residential size beds you're not gonna have a mattress topper hanging off the foot of your bed okay it's gonna fit properly and then storage underneath plywood they use a finishers grade plywood so it's super smooth you're not gonna pick up slivers or anything like that like some of the other manufacturers going as cheap as they can so uh, again, you've got the drawers there and your slide out, the window, extra shelving, storage. They've done just such a nice job. The new layout, uh, uh, double-sided door, so they've done some detail on the door on both sides. This is a super heavy door. Framed in door as well. Okay, 15,000 BTU air conditioner here on the racetrack system. So what's nice again about the 303 folks is that the air conditioner is mounted towards the back of the trailer, so giving you an overall lower profile and uh yeah again this is the new body style love to have you come out this one's sold this one's actually getting picked up this was a factory order uh, for some folks that uh doing their shopping buying local helping the local economy we thank you for your business uh, if you're catching this video i'm not going to name names but we appreciate you uh supporting the local market and the people here and uh, come on down if you want to check out a google five-star experience come on down to woody's rv leduc if you're too far away and you're in Calgary, uh, Grand Prairie, north of Grand Prairie, we'd love for you to come to Leduc, but hey, we wouldn't expect you to drive all that far. But if you're still looking for an amazing experience um, to get taken care of, we've got five dealerships in Alberta that carry Grand Design. We have a new dealership in Saskatoon. We are starting and opening a dealership in Abbotsford. Okay, our goal is to service our customers, to take care of you, to make your RV journey experience. We want to support you. If you're out in BC with your trailer, you'll be taken care of. If you're camping out in Saskatoon, you'll be taken care of. We're here to help. Our mission, to provide leading edge products supported by a team of professionals committed to exceeding our customers' expectations. And we live that every single day. We're not perfect, we do make mistakes, but hey, we always put our best foot forward and, and uh, we try to carry the best products that will stand the test of time. So again, my name's Clayton Phillips. I'm with Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada, shooting a video on the all new 303 RLS, new interior, new exterior, and uh, come on down. Our phone number is 780-986. One, two, three, four. Give us a call. Let's set up a time for you to come check us out. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.